everybody, welcome back to Keeping It Real in the Kitchen. I am Candace Cole. Today we are going to be making crock pot ribs. That's right, no grill needed. We are gonna cook these inside our crock pot. So what you need for this recipe is a few dry ingredients. That's what we're gonna start with and that's what we're gonna mix together. We're gonna need some brown sugar, need black pepper, paprika, salt. For our um, sauce, we're gonna use any type of uh, barbecue sauce that you like. I like the Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Barbecue Sauce. I like honey so much that I'm gonna add a little extra honey in it. You're gonna need at least two cups of barbecue sauce, and I'm only gonna use about a quarter cup of uh, this honey. So let's start with our dry ingredients. We're gonna just take all of those and combine them. So we'll start with our black pepper. We'll grab a tablespoon of this. You can <coughs> not <coughs> help pepper. Holy crap. <sighs> Dying. I can't talk with this pepper. Let's just pour it in. Oh Lord. Help me Jesus. And we're gonna do um, one tablespoon of paprika. Now you can change up your uh, dry rub to do flavors that you like. If you wanna add a little garlic salt or if you wanted to add onion powder or onion salt, whatever flavors you really like. Or you can even get one of those um, pre-done packages of, um, of like a grill rub. Those work great too. A half a tablespoon of salt. And then we're gonna do two tablespoons of our brown sugar. And I'm packing the brown sugar down. We're gonna mix that all together. My ribs are about almost five pounds. They're 4.95 pounds. So this works for up to a five pound uh, rack of ribs. So uh, we're gonna open this up and we're gonna rub our dry ingredients right on here. We're gonna give it a little massage. These are St. Louis style ribs. I found it ironic that it says it's grilling time on there and I'm like, no it's not. You're going in the crock pot. Sorry to disappoint you. It's massage time. Rub it in both sides. If you need to make a little more of your rub, you can. You know how to do it. Rub a dub dub. Three ribs in a tub. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, I don't know why this reminded me of a sporting event. Flip you over to the other side. The next thing you're gonna do is take those ribs and you're gonna put them inside your crock pot. You want your medius side facing the ins the uh, outside wall. So facing the inside wall would be the bones. I hope that makes sense. Meaty part on the outside. Yes, meaty part on the outside. So my bones are on this side, so I'm putting my meaty part ugh, like that. Huh. We'll just pretend that's gonna fit with the lid. I'm just gonna squish it down is what I'm really gonna do. The next thing we are going to do is make our uh, sauce mixture. One. That's two cups. I'm gonna use a quarter cup of honey. Honey is optional. Honey. I just met a girl. Her name's Honey. No, it's not. It's Maria. All right, we're gonna mix that all together. And we are gonna cover all the sides of our ribs. The bottom, the top, the left, the right, the north, the south, the east, the west. Cover those ribs completely. It's time to get messy. No better way to do it than this. Sauce, 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 your ribs, ribs. I'm gonna put like a little pool of it down at the bottom. Whatever I have left over is going on the bottom. Ribs always get you messy. Look, even when you're cooking them, you're gonna get messy making ribs. You're gonna get messy when you eat them. You're gonna get messy when you cook them. Just expect it to be like a wet nap kind of night. We've rubbed them, we've sauced them. Now we need to cook them. Rub them, sauce them, cook them, go. I'm gonna add a little extra because like I said, I'm just gonna use it to dip in after and I don't want it to burn. We're gonna cover this up the best we can. I know, oh look, not as bad as I thought. I got those ribs to move towards the center where the bubble of my lid was and it's gonna fit just fine. Now, here's the deal guys. This is going to cook for six to eight hours on low, so make sure you give yourself enough time. You're gonna know it's ready when the meat is just like falling off the bone. You stick a fork in there and it's like, boom, ready. Um, so I'm gonna let this cook for six hours, then I'm gonna check it on low, and then if it's not done yet, I'm gonna just check it about every half an hour after that. Also, another option that you can do once it is done cooking for those six to eight hours, whatever it takes, you can put it in your oven for about five minutes on broil, and that'll finish up that caramelization that you usually taste on those ribs, okay? So let's get this cooking. Okay, everybody, I checked these ribs at about six hours and they just weren't falling off the bone yet, so I let them cook a whole nother hour. So I'm sitting at just about seven hours now, a little less, and I'm gonna check them now. I'm really thinking that they're gonna be done. 
Yes, that is all, they are falling apart. And that's what you want. Now remember, you can take these out and you can put them in your oven on broil for five minutes and it's gonna give it that caramelization kind of, um, you know, look that ribs get. So I suggest doing that. So let me show you what this looks like. You can see all that flavor, all that sauce in there, they all cooked in together. And if I turn it, I mean, my ribs are practically, look, coming off. All right, guys, I hope you liked this easy crock pot recipe. You just throw everything in and let it cook all day, and then your whole house smells like barbecue. If you guys did like it, please give me a like. Share this video with your friends. Watch some old ones, guys, and be sure to subscribe. I will see you next time on Keeping It Real in the Kitchen. Bye.